All right, hey everyone, I'm back. And now, it's time to finally light the beacon. You know, like, where's Alistair? You okay, buddy? <laughs> you okay there? Alistair? He looks so sad. The beacon is over here. We've surely No, it's over it. there. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. Buddy. Anyway, I was so mad. I thought of so many Shrek puns after I finished that video. Yes. Like, enraged. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not... Do as I command. Yeah. Pull out! All of you, let's move! I knew he wasn't a good dude. Oh, hey, more Shrek. Get out of my swamp. That was not the best impression I've ever done. Possibly one of the worst. He is out of your swamp. <laughs> Boom. She gets shot by like three arrows and she's like, oh, hate getting shot. This always happens. Gah. Yeah, more about abominations here. Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. How is this a practical garment? Like, okay, if the Kokari Wilds are supposedly a frozen wasteland, and Morrigan, as she'll later end up saying, like, doesn't care about aesthetics. Like, aesthetics are not a concern for her. What the hell? This is not a utilitarian outfit. I like the feathers, though. That's cool. Um, yes. And where am I? This isn't the tower or the swamp. 
Back in the wilds, of course. <laughs> I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Like, from the tower? The swamp? I mean... Mother managed to save you and your friend, though twas a close call. Twas that you both live. The man who was to respond both to your signal quit the field. The darkspawn won your battle. Those oh, he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Neither am I. This is horrible. Of that I have no doubt. Your friend has been inconsolable since Mother told him the news. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Um... I have some questions. I do not mind. Take your time. <sighs> questions. Um... Okay, we can't be safe here. We are safe for the moment. Oh. Mother's magic keeps the darkspawn away. Okay. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. And why didn't she save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Yeah, much higher. What a sensible attitude. Mother is seldom sensible, however. And how exactly did she rescue us? We were kind of stuck up there. She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. Uh, of course. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother. Silly me. She may of course she did. Her. Were there any other survivors? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Why? What's happening? Are you sure you want me to describe it? Well, I wouldn't have asked if I didn't. I had a good view of the battlefield. Tis a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere, and darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. Ew. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath Ew. the ground. I cannot say why. So, like, theoretically, those survivors could be rescued. If you are willing to run into the midst of the horde... Perhaps. Okay. Okay, maybe not then. Um, I think I've asked enough questions. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. But, you must speak mm. to Mother, then be gone. You have an army of Darkspawn to avoid, and would be best to get an early start. Thank you for helping. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. She isn't. She really isn't. <laughs> Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. And... So, just how badly was I hurt? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. Yes, you were hurt. The Darkspawn did nothing. Okay, mother thanks. Could not heal. And what about Alistair? He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. Yeah, just a bit. And you think they would encourage his blubbering? If so, they are not the sort of Grey Wardens the legends note. And, like, they've still got, like, human emotions and stuff. Okay. I will stay and make something to eat. She's small. Going.
Archie, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Uh, well, I'm not. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Yeah, probably. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... Like, physically or mentally? Called? You've ne you never told us your name? Names are pretty, but... Okay, actually, that was uncalled for. Jason um... Call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davith was right. You're the witch of the wilds, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, Davith is also and dead. What does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Okay, who cares what she is? We need to do something. We need to bring Loghain to judgment. Why would he do this? Now that is a good question. Because he's a villain. Darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps that too. he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Yeah. You know, she like never really even wanted anything to do with this, so. Okay, Alistair's the real warden here, not me. Whoa. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. Whoa. I lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Okay. Um. Oh, I feel you. My clan kind of kicked me out. Then we have to do something. I won't let their deaths be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. Um... So, uh, what exactly is an archdemon again? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. Okay. An archdemon is an old god that sounds fake, but okay. painted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. All right, then we need to find this archdemon. And stab it. By ourselves? Yeah. No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Okay, well, how else are we gonna... I don't know how. how to we can learn how, okay? Or how to raise an army. It seems to me those are two different questions. Alright, this is before Google and, and the Wiki how. No allies these days. <laughs> Just I, I, I don't search Wiki how. How to end the, the Blight. May have been called, and Al Eamon would never stand for this, surely. Um, is that someone important? What's an Arl? I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kaelin's uncle. That doesn't answer my question. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Okay. But, um, what about the treaties? See? There is a smart lass. Of course. I was going for a smart ass, but okay. Three wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? I doubt it'll be that easy. <laughs> a 
And when is it ever? It's always when been it the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. I mean, survival also sounds pretty nice. Hmm. Come to think of it, that would be nice. Well, don't expect me to do everything. There is, however, one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> She's so small. Uh, well, we appreciate the help, but if she doesn't want to come, then she's not going to come. Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? Yeah, you see? You've been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Okay, I guess we'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth. What's a horse? Won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. That is so weird, like... I didn't realize the mod wouldn't change Flemeth too, like... But it looks like she's like 14. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Warden. <laughs> I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Um, I have no problems, if Alistair doesn't. From the way he glares, I imagine that answer is clear. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Dude, weren't you just saying we needed help? I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they can find them. Yeah. I am so pleased to have your approval. Mm. Actually, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. So, uh, what skills are you bringing to the table? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can But he cook. just... Yes. Okay, good, because we can't. I mean, I can't. I really no, can't cook. The will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. Well, shit. No, like, one very specific incident that stands out to me is when I was making rice, and it started overboiling, right? And it was, like, making a huge mess on our stove. 
So I pull it off and I start wiping it up. And then the towel caught on fire in my hand. True story. Um... Have you ever been outside the wilds? From time to time, I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. And then what? On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. And is that what you want? What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. Aww. Uh, yeah, I think that's about all. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Oh, tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. <laughs> I... All I meant was... What a buzzkill. Yes, Do try to have fun, dear. Hmm. Here's an open area. The time has come to leave the wilds. Do you not agree? What do you need? Uh never mind. So Wait, wait, hang on. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Yeah, I'll pass on the stew, but... You could come with us. Huh. I prefer to remain here. Considering what the world has done to me, I have already done more than it deserves. But... You're probably a lot stronger than we are. It is not a matter of power. No one person in all of Thedas has enough power to stand against a blight. Were that the case, sending you two would be quite the jest. Ouch. What is important is that you are both Grey Wardens. Your task is to unite the land, inspire its men, and turn them from their petty politics to face the Archdemon. In that, you are... Well, I mean, politics are important. Far. I am but an old woman whom the world has largely forgotten. I mean... True, right now they're ignoring a larger issue in lieu of the throne. But politics do matter. Can you answer questions? Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. Well, you're right, but... <sighs> so, what do you do once we're gone? Huh. Have a moment's peace for once. I hear the peace of the grave is eternal. This is the thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Ah, may your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. So, do you have any advice? About the dark spawn? Yes. Only that they are more cunning than they appear. Ah, damn. More important by far is the arch demon. It is the core of this taint. And Actually, I don't think it is. is. So does the blight. 
I'm sure something this else is the core. Is different. You must deal with the repercussions of his deeds before you can face the Archdemon. Unless it finds you first. Oh no. Hmm. All right, that's all. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Okay, now we're going. Yep, and before we go anywhere else, we need to go to Lothering. But before we even go there, we're going to go to camp. Alrighty. Huh. Do they normally show up this early? Okay, yeah, this is a mod. Greetings, Warden. Hi. Forgive me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I um May I I'm Cora, hey, um whatever. Lala. I have been gathered. Okay. Yeah. So there's some nice like aesthetic stuff here. I don't know. If I'm going to be messing with any of it yet, though. May as well take one of these, though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, this is useful. It's very useful. Ah, uh, hey! Nice. These are all the same. So yeah, this is a very handy mod to have. Uh-huh. We can store that. And this. And this. Yep. So. Alright, so a lot happened there. And I think enough for one video. The camp is a lot bigger than you realize at first. But yeah, so that's it for this video.